reason why many people are afraid now to be what they are is because wrong people rushed before and took over. That's the reason why today you find that, you know, when you reach before God, God can still say, you never existed. I don't know you. Because when the Bible says, Jesus will say in the last day, I don't know you. He was saying, you have never existed. Because how can you say you have existed if you are not doing what you are created to do? How can you say I've existed and you find that in your existence you are not doing what you were created to do? You were copying someone. You were living a life of someone. Why do you have to rate yourself? Oh, I told you I've got many questions. I'm asking questions. Why do you have to rate yourself with others? Ask your neighbor. Why do you have to rate yourself with others? Why do you have to compare yourself with others? Today, we are trying to be what we are not today. And this will be very dangerous in the last day. I don't know you. Think about when you reach before God, you say, I'm prophet whom whom? I'm apostle whom whom? He says, hey, I don't know you. I, I don't know this man. And here you are known. What about those who are following you? Think about that. Think about, think about you now. If Jesus can appear and say, this man was talking, I don't know him. What about you? We have been listening to him. Writing notes. Are you not, do you want to write, Mama? You want to write a person who is not known by Jesus? This is a serious problem to church today. Even today, when I want you to follow me, I tell you what you are not. Even today. Today now, if I want you to follow me, I have to tell you what you are not. Especially what you know you are not, it might be what you are desiring. That's the reason why today the Bible says in Matthew 24, many deceivers will come. They will deceive many because many people want to be what and they forget there are still some things that God has created them of. I've got many questions today. Even if you try to be what you are not. And you find that God has not ordained it. You are still going to struggle to reach there. Because you are doing it on your own. And you are leaving yourself. That is why most of the time we want to force God by prayer. <laughs> We want to force God, we, like he's, you know, you know, slogan. Eh? An injury to one is an injury to all. If all have done that, if I do, I'll be like them. How do you know you are what you are? Because if you say you are what you are, show us. Because this is a year of what? We will know you by your fruits. You will shock us. The Bible says you will bear fruits and your fruits will be what? Remain. Not long I found that 
Many people, many people, they are crying to be what they are not. And because of that, they spend their time in vain. I don't want to be like anybody, I just want to be myself. Because you won't be satisfied by life until you find who you are. Not what someone is telling you. And no one can make you to be you. Because you are created to be yourself. That's why these problems you are having are fit on you. Can you see this problem you have? The challenge you have, it's not like of someone. If it came to someone, it was supposed to have killed that person. But you, you are sustained even today. Because you are still the person who's supposed to go through what you are going through now. I don't try to make yourself something else. Check yourself. Because at the end of the day, you'll be surprised to find you have wasted your time. It's as good as you say, me, you know, I can fly aeroplane. It's as good as that they give you aeroplane. And then from there, what will happen to you? There will be a crash. You are going to endanger yourself and others. It's as good as you say, I can drive the bus. And you are not. The passengers will suffer immensely. You need to find who you are. Ask your neighbor, who are, who are you? And the, say, I'll, say, I'll say your neighbor. There's no one who can stand up and say, I'm a witch. No one. No one can stand up and say, I'm a witch. No one. And we are expecting people like that. You cannot find them. But they are with, among us today. Others are church leaders. Others are members of the church. Others are leaders in the church. But no one can stand up and say, I'm a witch. But witches are there. If we can try to ask God to help you to find who you are, you'll be surprised you are following a person who's not better than you. You'll be really surprised the person that is in front of you is not what you are thinking. Spiritually, the person is zero. Others can't even pray. Ask your neighbor, who are you? Say, answer me today. Your failure in what you are created of to do or for to do doesn't mean that you are not. It's as good as you become pregnant and you are married. If you lose a child, that does not mean that you are not married. Today, you are judging yourself by what you are going through, your situations, your trouble, your, whatever you are facing. And that is why the church is like a playground today. Reason. Because when you were supposed to be fighting yourself, some people came before you, before you identify yourself. And they found you. If we read the Bible, it says, the disciples of Jesus, they say, we have found him. When they were telling Peter. But when Peter came to Jesus, Jesus says, 
You, you are Kephas. You are a stone. Peter began to understand, oh, I'm a stone now. I'm a son of Jonah. If this man is telling me I'm a stone, I will stick with him. For Peter to say, others can leave you, but not me. He remember how he was identified. You people, you forgot how Jesus identified you. You are in what people identify you. That is why many people can come and still rob you. And you forget what Jesus is saying about you. 